So Nikola Mirotic is a guy that might be coming back to the NBA. So a report came out that Barcelona needs to cut money, okay, similar to what happened to their soccer program. This is basket news, by the way. It's a great, like, European basketball, like, website. And I want to – I can't find who wrote this article, but basically – after a debacle in Canas, in the final four where FC Barcelona found themselves beaten again by both Real Madrid and AS Monaco with the ACB title still at stake, the club is already planning for next season. According to Jose Ignacio Huguete of Mundo Deporte, the Catalan powerhouse has made a decision to implement a substantial budget cut for the upcoming season. Initially, it was discussed the budget would be cut by around 10 to 15%. However, unless the club changes course, the final reduction will actually fall between 20 to 25 percent cut in their budget from this year to next. And that's approximately 44 million dollars in euros. They're going to have a budget, which means Ho, uh, Juan Carlos Navarro, the sports director for Barcelona's basketball program, has to cut between 8 to 11 million euros this upcoming offseason. And the first player who's been asked to take a pay cut is Nikola Mirtic, who it makes the most money on the squad. And according to him, Barcelona has contacted Mircic and told him and informed him that he has to take a 50% cut or they will open the door that he leaves once the season ends. And he left the NBA to return to Barcelona because he basically got a deal from Barcelona, which was like the same equivalence in money what he was getting offered, I believe, from either the New Orleans Pelicans or the Milwaukee Bucks. And he took it because he was he didn't have to pay taxes and like, the be- the fringe the the fringe benefits and the French benefits whatever you want to call them were like really good and he came back because he was going to come back and be the best player in Europe and deliver a championship a Euro League title to Barcelona but that still has yet to happen and honestly Vasilya Micic has been the best player or Shane Larkin has been or Sasha Benzikov has been the best player in Europe for the last few years okay one of those three guys and. They're saying that Nikola Mirchich wants this. He still has two years and he's willing to fulfill it, but he's earning about $11 million euros and the pay cut will basically, I guess, bring him down to six and a half. And he says he has, he said in a quote that he has a contract and he wants to stay and he'd like to fulfill it. But I don't see that happening. If like, if they tell him, Hey, you got to take like a 50% pay cut. Uh, you know, go from making 11 million to 5.5 million dollars, 5.5 million euros a year. And then the NBA, I bet you an NBA team would be willing to call him up and be like, hey, we'll sign you. OK, you're about to make only 11 million, 5.5 million dollars each year for the next two years. So your contract went from being 22 over the next two years to being 11 over the next two years. Here, we'll offer you a two year, 20 million dollar deal to come off the bench in the NBA. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd want that. Okay, he doesn't. He, yeah, he'd be playing less minutes, but he'd probably be making more money. I bet you there's a lot of NBA. I mean, Mirsich was basically an all-star last time he played. Okay, this guy was a dog. So I really hope he comes back. And let me know your guys' thoughts. Am I am I just like dreaming? Okay, and that's that's it, guys. I just thought it was an interesting quote. Shout out Basket News, whoever wrote this deserves credit i'm sorry that i their their website's literally not telling me who wrote it so i'll link it in the description but i'm all i'm actually driving back to the news station right now so hit that like and subscribe button if you guys did enjoy today's video but if there was anything else that i might have missed let me know and i'd be gladly to talk on it so that's it bye peace out guys have a great day